Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is DJ Aki and today we have a special show today. We're going to be taking a look at my first ever PC build. So this is my first time doing this and I really wanted to share the journey with everyone to show that hey, I'm sure anyone can do this if they try. So the first step, we're going to just take a look at the important parts to try to install CPU, motherboard, GPU, etc. And then the rest is going to be time lapsed. So just a reminder, this is my first time, so please be kind in the comments. And if you have any other recommendations, please let me know. So let's get started. Here we go. All right, so these are the parts I managed to collect over the last few months. A lot of them are very, very good parts, and I was lucky to get some of them. So we're going to use these to put together the computer, and hopefully it comes out all okay. We're going to start by introducing each part so you know what's going on. And we're going to go step by step. Okay, first up we have the Ryzen 5 3600 processor. Very popular and bound CPU, good for mid-range and budget builds. And so I'm going to use this to give the computer its brains. Next up we have the motherboard, the MSI B50 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. Really good mid-range motherboard, has Wi-Fi as you can see. It's also updated for BIOS already if you want to use the 5000 series Ryzen AMD. Very good motherboard, so I'm looking forward to installing it. Next up for cooling, we have the AMD Wraith Prism Air Cooler. It's a bit more solid and bigger than the original cooler that came with the CPU. So we're gonna use that, and it's a bit of the best of both worlds, air cooling and nice RGB. All right, so we're gonna use that, and we're gonna go into our next one. And next up we have our memory, the Corsair Vengeance Pro RGB. We have four sticks of eight gigabytes for a total of 32. A bit overkill, but perfect in case I ever need to upgrade. For storage, we have our Seagate Barracuda two terabyte HDD and our SDD is an MVME two drive, 480 gigabytes, which is gonna be for our OS. Should be really fast to start up. Next up we have our Tuff Gaming Asus GeForce GTX 1650. A okay graphics card, but I got it at a good price, so hopefully it works pretty well. And uh, yeah, it's really hard to find graphics cards, so you gotta take what you can. So we're gonna use this for our build. For power, we have our Corsair RM750X. This is a good brand. It's a bit overkill, yes, I know, but it's great in case I ever need to upgrade. It was only $10 more, so why not? For peripherals, we have an XPG, an RGB fan, 120 millimeter, and we have a Landly LED strip. Uh, just to experiment with some of the RGB, not too expensive, and should be fun to check out. And bringing it all together, we have our Lancool 2, very popular case last year, good airflow, has three fans already in it, so very good for its price. I'm looking forward to working in it, and I'll give a review after it's done. And that's it for all our parts. Let's get to the build. Alright, let's start with the motherboard. We have our MSI 
B50 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. Uh, this actually, this motherboard is okay for second gen and third gen Ryzen chips. This actually has a BIOS, so you, normally you might have to uh, update the BIOS if you're going to use a 5000 series Ryzen. I'm using 3000, so it should be okay. But if you were to do this, it's already got the BIOS in it. So this is actually very convenient. So if I want to update the CPU later on, it's very possible without having to update the BIOS too much. So that's a great thing. So let's get into looking at everything. The box I opened up came with a couple of things here. We have uh, some different cables, so two SATA cables here. This is the Wi-Fi antenna, I believe. So you connect this to the Wi-Fi in the, in, on the IOU board. I forgot the name of it. <laughs> and these are what we're gonna need these later. So I'm gonna put these to the side. Of course, other things it comes with as well. These are probably the screws for the MBE2 storage. So we need these. And we have some stickers and the CD drive, which we're not going to use. All right, so let's take a look. Well, so of course, we have the instruction manual. I actually have the manual online ready on my computer to check out just in case and this is something for other information as well so keep this on the side just in case we need it and let's take a look at our motherboard finally all right here we go let's open it up opened up so this is the motherboard uh, trying to handle it very carefully uh, so it's not doing anything I have ground myself actually I connected the uh, power supply uh, to a anti-static strip that's around my leg at the moment uh, I've done it that way to keep my hands free so I can do things um, you, you may or may not need this I'm just not taking any chances just in case because this is my first time doing this so what are our first steps the first step of course is the CPU uh, let's take a look at some of the places we have here just in case for those who have you've probably seen this on other videos but I'll just point out so we have here this is where the CPU will go we already have the brackets for the cooler now if you're using other coolers for example uh, and a water cooler for example you would have to take these out and put in the ones that come with the kit for the cooler the cooler I'm using is an air cooler and it fits right with the, these brackets so I don't need to do anything with them uh, we have here right here this is where we put the SSD storage MB2 we have our PCI ports here uh, the GPU will go for this one you can go either way but the GPU will work fastest on the first one here here this of course is for the dim ram sticks i have four of those and i'll be putting them in those as well and of course the various things we have some of the different areas here here which we use for our leds fans uh, set of cables and etc so yeah that's the main thing so let's get to our next step the cpu okay all so let's get ready to install the cpu I have it right here. Uh, you, can see, you can see a little bit of the glare, I think, hopefully. There we go. So let's try to install it. So first up, let's open it first. Woo, look at this. Of course, like you've probably seen in many other videos, if you have been checking them out, to always hold it, hold the chip like this. Uh, never try to touch these areas where the pins are because if you bend them or anything it could make the chip not work so definitely be careful with that of course we're looking for specifically the golden triangle I don't know if you can see it right here oops, get the camera should be right, oops, right right about there yeah 
that bit, you can see right there. That is where the golden triangle is, and you match that to the triangle on the motherboard. And that is right here. Another trick to do this is if the another trick if you look at another trick you can do is also if you take a look here, the Ryzen name is actually going this way. And that's another way you can tell if you want to install the CPU. It goes this way. The name should go in this direction. Uh, so up and the, and the triangle is down. So let's try it out. It takes a little bit of power here. There we go. Let's lift it up. And now we're going to take and put it in here. So it seems to just drop right in there. Nice and seems sturdy. Now let's try to fold it down here. And done. Woo! Okay, we are done. So the CPU is basically installed. Uh, so that's all there is to it, basically. It's pretty easy. Um, you do have to be careful of how you handle these. Some of these things can be a little bit fragile, but these boards are kind of made to work well as well so a little pressure is not so bad when it comes to some of these things but still be very very careful all right chip is installed our cpu is installed so now our next step is to let's install the mbe2 ssd here we go Alright, so now we have our SSD open, so I'm going to open this up here, um, and take a closer look. This is the SSD, this is a 480 gigabyte uh, SSD, uh, should be very fast for the OS, this is where I'm going to put the, my OS and computer stuff here, so they can work from this drive. Uh, like I said, very fast. This one is a green Western Digital, so it's not as fast as some of the others, but it, for my thing, it's pretty fast. So still, a thousand megabytes or something like that. It's insane. So <laughs> moving back and forth information. So, so this is what we're going to use for our OS, etc. And so now we're going to open it up. So first step, we have this out. The next step, let's open up the SSD drive area that we're going to use. So let's get our thing here and the SS drive is going to be SSD drive is going to go here and let's open this area up here It should go in here. Don't forget to remove this part. There you go.
okay so the SSD drive has been installed all right so now our next step is going to be our RAM let's install that Alright, we are back. And so we are now using this is our RAM that we're going to use. It's the Corsair Vengeance Pro 3600 megahertz and 8 gigabytes each, so a total of 32 gigabytes. So, as we all know, uh, a dual channel usually we use like A and B dual channel for the RAMs here. So you can choose one, but usually, for example, the second and fourth one. But since I have four of these, uh, we're just going to put them in. So let's try it out. Okay, RAM is now installed. I have a little bit of difficulty there because I, I had it the wrong way. Be careful about that. I hope it's okay, <laughs> but uh, hopefully it's okay. So uh, the RAM should be, when you put it in it, it should just go in and then the, the, the hinge here should just pop into place. So just be careful when you're installing these. Should be okay, it looks very nice so far. And so the last thing we're gonna install on the motherboard is going to be the cooler. Now, uh, there's different kinds of coolers. There's water coolers. There's uh, uh, really strong air coolers. The original uh, AMD came with its own air cooler called the Wraith Spiral Air Cooler Fan. Uh, I'm not using this because uh, doing some research, it seems that this does not work as well as it could. And with this type of CPU, it does get a little hotter. So instead, I went with the Prism uh, Wraith, which is... Uh, which is essentially a RGB bigger fan, and it should be work. It should work pretty well um, for this type of thing. Uh, I'm not using this for a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm using this basically for some streaming, some editing, some gaming. So it's a very balanced PC. So I don't really think I need a water cooler, but I can update that. Update that in the future. Uh, water coolers are very good, but at the same time, if issues happen, it can be bad so right now I'm going to try it out with the air cooler and see how it works let's get it installed and this is what it looks like bit bigger bit sturdier nice little sink copper that's what you want to see uh, this version already has thermal paste on it you can see a little bit right there it already has thermal paste on it so I didn't bother getting any thermal paste I know some people say that uh, it's better to put your own there, but I've heard this is just fine. Um, so let's just try it out.
<laughs> okay. Well, that took a while. Um, I hope I didn't damage anything. I really hope I didn't damage anything. <laughs> so, okay. So, this is the CPU fan that actually goes in here. Okay, so we have, that took a long time. <laughs> Don't worry, it's gonna get and edited out. So basically it took a while to get this in there. Uh, just getting the, get it to line up right can be a bit of a pain, but I got it. And we've, been, we've put in the fan here. The next would be to line up the, uh, the RGB cable. All the main points that we discussed have been installed. We have, the CPU is installed, we now have the cooler, the air cooler installed, we have our RAM, we have our MSMV, uh, sorry, MS, sorry, SSD, MNVV2 uh, uh, storage is set up, and so, and that's it for the immediate things on the motherboard right now. So now the next step is getting everything set up in the case and preparing the case to take in the motherboard. So let's get to that. Case Lan Cool Lan Leon Lee Lan Cool Two. Uh, it has some H RGB in the front here. Uh, there are actually three fans, which is pretty cool. So right now we're going to be in a uh, equilibrium balance. So we have one fan in the front to bring in cool air. We have two fans for exhaust. I'm going to add one more fan, uh, an RGB fan. That I'm going to probably put here. Uh, I think it will look better. And I'm gonna. That way, we're gonna have two fans for fresh air, two fans for exhaust. So that will be maybe just about right for this type of uh, setup. So let's uh, start taking care of the fans.
so now we're back and we're about to install the motherboard uh, we're double checking what's there we have these areas here let's show you for example these points which will be points where the motherboard will be installed into and so we're just double checking and making sure that we can put these things in there and of course we're also installing we go you can't see it here but we're going to put in the uh, the ALU which has all the different ports LAN cable ports and things like that in the back of the computer so we're going to take this and see if we can do it okay there we go looks like it's okay let's see if these screws work or not When you're putting these screws in, try to go in the star pattern so there's not much pressure putting on the motherboard so you can kind of flatten everything out as you go along. Okay, so we've installed the motherboard, which is here. We have everything kind of coming down through here. Everything seems to be okay. Everything's sturdy, should be okay. So now next step is to reinstall the fans, add one more RGB fan here, and then start dealing with the wires and putting in the power supply. So let's get going.
back and uh, we are almost done we are just I said I am just uh, getting back from a break it's actually about what now is it? almost 11 30 p.m. now I've been at this all day <laughs> I'm tired I'm hoping I didn't get too much wrong <laughs> but we're at the final start of everything I've basically worked on the wires and input all the wires that I think needed to be there I'm a little bit unsure of some of the fans. I, I'm gonna hope they work when they turn on, when I turn them on, but we'll see what happens. But for now, uh, a lot of the main stuff is done. The last thing we gotta do, of course, is finally to put in our GPU. This is the ASUS Tough Gaming GeForce GTX 1650 with four gigabytes GDRX, overclock edition. Uh, so let's get it in there, here we go.
All right, everyone. Thank you for coming on this journey. Everything is finally done. I was successful in going into the BIOS. Once we turned on the computer, I made changes there, including changes for the RAM to make it uh, output at 3600 and some other tweaks as well. And it all worked out. I'm actually editing on this computer now, and I'm happy to say it's working well. Also, about the Lian Lee case, like I said, I'll have some thoughts. It's a very good case. I do recommend it for beginners. It also has great airflow. It has already has three fans. So if you want to add on to that, that's great. Or even change the fans, it's also good. The temperatures have been doing very well in the CPU. So I'm glad to be using this case actually. So I can definitely recommend it. Also great for cable management. It was not too difficult. It was challenging, but it wasn't too difficult for a noob like me. So definitely uh, check it out. And that's really it. Um, I will put links into the description. I do recommend one guy. There's all these famous guys out there, you know, J2 Cents, Linus Tech Tips, uh, Bitwit. They're all very good. And if you look them up, you'll find lots of PC build step-by-step uh, -step guides. But one guy I do recommend is a guy named Christopher Flanagan. You'll have his link in the description. He often does step-by-step -step guides. These are like literally two to three hour YouTube videos, but he has them separated so you can choose which points you want to look at. So you don't have to look at the whole thing. He's very, very detailed and very slow and easy to understand. So if you want to check him out, Go to the link. He's very helpful if you're going to do your first type of build. All right, that's it. Thank you for joining me on this great journey. And uh, hopefully we'll do some more again. Until then, I'm DJ Aki. I'll see you next time.